actions. This defines which products a rule is applied to. So um, we have conditions is whether or not this applies to the entire cart, but actions applies to which applies to which items the cart applies to. I was talking to an online retailer here recently, and they were saying that um, they just send work over to their service provider, their agency on record, and the work kind of gets done. But when it gets done, it's exactly like they wanted it to get done, and they feel like they're just missing out on a lot of opportunities for optimization. I was thinking, I, I, we don't do business like that. We're, we are first and foremost consultants, and yeah, the cool thing is we're consultants that actually can get the stuff done. We don't just like do what you tell us to do back if necessary, we provide a consultative. Well, as you can see in these videos, we share our knowledge and we'd love to do that in a positive, friendly environment. If you're missing that, let's have a conversation. We can really help you. So let's take a look here. Um, we have a couple of configurations here. This is very similar to uh, the catalog price rules. Um, well, just slightly more configuration. So we have a percent of the product price discount. So again, 10% off, probably the most common fixed amount discount. So this is whether uh, like, you know, $5 off each product here, fixed amount discount for the whole cart. So we get $10 off the entire cart. So like applied one time. And the most confusing one of all is buy X, get one free. We have a entire video dedicated to this one. So I'm not gonna talk about what this involves Let's just say, uh, spoiler preview, it's not necessarily what you would think it is. It's a little bit weird. Uh, so anyways, we enter our discount amount here. Again, if it's gonna be 10% off, we would apply it to maximum quantity discount. So if we don't wanna apply to more than five products, we would put that here, apply to shipping amount. So we can mark that, um, it, so this would be separate. So if it's, for example, a fixed amount discount for the whole cart, $5 off there, well, then it would be $5 off there and $5 off the shipping amount. I generally don't see this, but you know it's possible. We can uh, also say free shipping for matching items only or shipping with matching items only. This one is hardly implemented in Magento, so I would just select free shipping for matching items only. Basically applies to free shipping. So you can completely take off all discount. And uh, so then you would apply this for matching items only. And then we can also uh, do allow, we can do reward points. So this promotion gets you X number of reward points flat rate. Now, what's confusing here is, is I already alluded to this at the beginning of my video, is how this, this one then applies to conditions. So conditions is apply this rule only if the following conditions are met, but this one is apply the rule only to cart items matching the following conditions. So for example, um, if we wanted to implement free shipping, we might put some conditions as far as what type of products are eligible for, for shipping. Uh, we're going to talk about that here in the next video, so I'm not going to steal my own my own personal thunder here, uh, but we'll just leave it as is. As this is a good overview for what how uh, the actions work on card price rules. Mm -hmm.